What up, gringos? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to my closet. Hello. Pretty swanky. I've got stuff in here. Toys, games. A second not-as-good sombrero from Chevy's. Also, I drink too much milk. Don't drink too much milk. Writing tip of the day number one. Don't, don't do that. Here's the thing about rules of writing. You're going to learn a lot of rules as you write. And as, you know, if you went to junior high, for instance, they'll teach you a bunch of rules of writing. They'll say, don't use run-on sentences. Use proper punctuation. Never start a sentence with but. Never start a sentence with and. Uh, the reason that those rules exist is because they're fundamentals. They are fundamentals and you should know them, but you shouldn't necessarily follow them. I'm going to put that into, into terms that aren't as insane. Here's a book that I enjoy that I've been reading a lot lately and rereading over and over again. It's called Stories of Terror and Madness from the Borderlands. Woo! It's from a series. I think this is Borderlands like seven or eight. I'm not entirely sure which one, but if you can find the one with the little uh, cabin on the front, you should, because it's great. One of the things I like about this book, or this, it's a series of short stories, and all of the short stories are very, very good, but they're all written in completely different writing styles. And there's one author in here, let me see if I can boop, 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 find it. Not Father Bob and Bobby, I don't want that one, where's a thing? Yes, A Thing by Barbara Malenke. It's written entirely in run-on sentences. One of the things that you should know about the fundamental rules of writing is that they're there so that you know what, like, how badly it can go wrong, so that you know what bad writing looks like, uh, because the rules themselves are malleable. If you can make it, if you can make something look good, then it doesn't matter if you're breaking rules. But don't, if you're, if you're just getting into this or you're just starting to write, follow the rules. Follow the rules and read a lot, like I said before, um, because it's very important that you know what the rules are so that you can break them. Because you don't just want to, you know, end up in, you know, writer's jail for 12 hours on a Friday when you were trying to go up to Northern California to visit your girlfriend and then sit in, you know, the writer's cell with the other 400-pound Irish lady writer who's yelling all night because she's drunk. Then you have to go to writer anonymous meetings, court ordered, for three months, and it sucks. This is what I've been reduced to.